Have you heard of female orgasms involving squirting? Are you interested in learning more about them, how they operate, and, most importantly, how to present them to your partner? To get all the answers, watch this video through to the end. Hello and welcome to Top Lista. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today's topic is how to make a woman squirt. Few individuals are aware that women can squirt or even what orgasmic squirts are. Men are known to ejaculate, whereas women are known to experience clitoral orgasms. However, we have considerably more orgasmic potential than this. A squirting orgasm is merely one of many distinct orgasms that women might experience. A squirting orgasm occurs when a woman's G-spot, also referred to as her urethral sponge, gets overstimulated to the point where fluid is discharged from that location while she is orgasming. Despite some people's concerns, this liquid is not urine. The skein's glands, located in the spongy tissue around a woman's urethra, secrete a watery liquid during a G-spot orgasm. Squirt is not urine, therefore, no. You'll notice that it is somewhat whitish in color and that it doesn't smell like pee when you examine it. After making your partner squirt. So, how exactly do you make your partner squirm? Before you start having sex with your partner, there are a few things you need to take care of. She should go to the bathroom and empty her bladder first. The stimulation of the region around her urethra and bladder causes many women to feel the urge to urinate throughout this experience. This tension will probably prevent her from squirting if she is tensing up to contain the urine. So, request that she use the restroom just before the encounter so that she can unwind and let herself completely go. Additionally, be sure to have towels on hand. Spreading blankets or towels under her lovely body can help safeguard the region and relieve everyone's concerns because some ladies have a propensity to spew excessive amounts of liquid. Number 2. Before you begin this process, be careful to reassure her. She won't experience a squirting orgasm if she feels compelled to squirt. Therefore, reassure her that she is not under any obligation. Whether or not she squirms, you will still have a fantastic time. Also, let her know that it's okay if she unintentionally urinates while doing this. She needs to feel completely secure and at ease during this experience. She won't be able to experience a squirting orgasm if she doesn't. 3. Continue by stirring her up. Massage her vulva, thighs, lower tummy, and clitoral region. A woman must be stimulated and have enough sexual energy in her body before she can experience any type of orgasm. So make sure to stimulate her clitoral area a lot. And any other type of touch that is most likely to make her feel excited. Continue to build her up and stimulate her until you see engorgement in her genital region brought on by the increased blood flow. She should be sighing, breathing deeply, and displaying high levels of desire with her body language. In general, she should be able to experience an orgasm at this point. Aiming for a squirting orgasm with an anorgasmic partner may be a bit too difficult. But not insurmountable. It will be a lot simpler for her to go through this process if she is already able to experience orgasms. Simulating the G-spot is number 4. Currently, you're prepared to stimulate her G-spot. You can discover the G-spot by putting a finger or two about 2 inches deep on the upper wall of her vagina, near her belly. Make sure to initially investigate the area if you are unfamiliar with her G-spot. When touched. It ought to have a somewhat distinct texture from the rest of her vaginal canal and feel more like the ridges on your mouth's roof. Continue making slow, even strokes. Circles can be drawn on her G-spot. You can sort of press against it back and forth. Additionally, you may use the Come Here movement, which many women genuinely adore. You'll need to spend some time here to build up the fluids in this area in her urethral sponge, so start out slowly and keep going. When her entire G-spot begins to engorge and swell under your fingers, you should be able to feel it with your fingers. Continue building up the speed and pressure of your touch as she becomes increasingly excited. When massaging her G-spot internally, you can occasionally add clitoral stimulation with your thumb as well. Make sure to keep lubricant on hand in case you need to use it here. She ought to be really excited and engorged at this point. And remember to maintain your speed and tempo. 
Here, quick, short strokes will be very effective. She will adore the amount of force you can use here. In case she appears uncomfortable, get her opinion. But generally speaking, she'll want vigorous stimulation from you at this point. In addition, women can squirt without experiencing an orgasm and experience G-spot orgasms without squirting. But in this case, we're going for the rare union of these two delights. Encourage her to stay with the feelings and let go, even if she feels like she needs to go potty. Ask her to push out and release if she feels like her muscles are constricting and holding. Stay with her when she begins to orgasm and squirm. Keep your hands in place and keep stimulating. Continue on, leading her deeper towards her climax. Most guys have oversensitivity after ejaculating. With a woman's G-spot, however, such is not the case. Keep in touch with her and continue until she tells you to stop. The nicest aspect of all of this is that she need not let this be the end of her. After squirting, she might continue to have intercourse and additional orgasms. For women, squirting comes with its own set of pressures. It seems to have become another impossible asexual act we're meant to perform. This not only contributes to sexual shame, it also makes it hard to let go enough to squirt. Legendary squirting pioneer and sex educator Lola Jean says she tries to stay away from the idea that you can make anyone do anything sexually. Instead, think of it more as enabling them to have the experience. If they don't want to squirt, you're not going to make anyone do anything, Jean says. Squirting also doesn't feel good for everyone, just like orgasms in general, so make sure the receiver is totally game before proceeding. Get in the right mindset. To get into the right mindset, you need to be sure you're both relaxed and in the mood. Because squirting involves release, being relaxed is key to feeling comfortable enough to let your body do its own thing without tensing up. The woman needs to feel safe so she can completely let herself go. She needs to be relaxed, completely present, 100% in her body, and her mind may not be wandering, says licensed sex therapist Mushumi Goes, LMFT. Remember that this is about feeling pleasure, not performing for yourself or a partner. Enjoy the sensations your body is feeling and know that while you may not squirt, that's not the main purpose of what you are doing. The main purpose is pleasure. Start by getting super aroused. In order to squirt, the vagina and vulva need to be at full capacity for arousal. There is no rushing this game. Explore your body and internal vaginal tissue. See what areas have arousal and erotic potential, says ASEC certified sex therapist Jenny Schuyler, PhD, LMFT, CST. Set up a comfortable space where you and your partner can explore the body. When you're aroused, the vagina naturally gets wet, the clitoris and labia swell and get darker, and everything becomes more sensitive. This heightened state of arousal is a cornerstone of squirting because in order to build up to a final release, you have to be willing to take the ride up to the top. For more ideas on how to get there, here's exactly how to make a woman orgasm, tips for more explosive orgasms, and different types of orgasms to explore. Stimulate the G-spot area. Once you or your partner are properly aroused, it's time to get to business. For manual stimulation, the giver inserts fingers into the vagina and applies pressure, rather than friction, to the front wall of the vagina, near her stomach, one and a half to three inches in every woman is different, says Kenneth Play, a sex educator who has been teaching people to squirt for years. This area is known as the G-spot, which is less of a spot, and more of an area that happens to have a lot of erectile tissue, as well as an area where you can stimulate the internal, back end of the clitoris. You will know you found the spot because it changes texture and feels more rubbery when you are aroused, Catherine Zagoni, ND, medical director and a sexual wellness expert at Gentera, tells MBG. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something. If you did, kindly like it and post a comment asking, have you ever made a woman squirt? I always reply personally to your comments because I like reading them. I appreciate you sticking with me all the way to the end. And a ton of mind-blowing, squirting orgasms are in order for you. Next week, I hope to see you for another hot, delicious, and juicy video.